Hello, Internet. Welcome back to Escape Velocity. Uh, it's been a while. I, we skipped the or we missed the last one. I feel like we played the one before then. I don't know. Time is weird, uh, but we're here and we're glad that you're here, Internet. Um, let's see. You just watched our intro video, which tells you most of what we do here on the channel. Um, mostly tabletop role playing stuff most nights of the week. Um, and sometimes video game stuff as well. Um, if you're here live on Twitch, our schedule is beneath our faces. Otherwise, it's in our Discord and pinned on our socials, um, which we have a bunch of. Uh, you know, we have the social media du jour. Uh, so find us on one of those and you'll know what we're getting up to. But main place is our discord that's where a lot of us hang out and post memes and talk about you know the whatever's happening um our next scheduled stream that we should be live for will be this saturday our double header for uh dnd in the morning and blades in the dark in the afternoon um then uh that would take us back around to monday for more red jenny um, and then, yeah, it's, it's I, I said we're live most nights of the week, but it's relatively quiet lately. Um, and Tuesdays will be quiet for the next month and a half or so, because this is the, the last time that we have everyone for you know, uh, a month and a half. Um, but, uh, we always announce in the discord when we're live, so you'll know when it's time for whatever we're doing next if uh no. but suppose there is a chance we finish this game tonight and yeah um i feel like i have more to say but my brain is not working it is been melted most of the day uh so <laughs> thank you for bearing with me um i'm not gonna put that on the rest of <laughs> of the the players here um yeah. I think that's all I have to say right now. Uh shall we go around and introduce ourselves? Say who we are, what we're doing, uh, you know, what you do on the internet and who you're playing tonight. Um, I'll go ahead and start. Hello, I'm Alex, OMG at some guy on the internet, mostly here, uh, if we're doing stuff on a Tuesday or Thursday, and then over on LV's channel on Sundays. Uh for this game, I am playing Teddy who is a bunny person, he is a telepath, he is a courtesan, and the ship's captain. And LB is next. Hello everybody, I'm LB Hackamup. You can find me at LB Hackamup on the Twitters, the Twitches, the blue skies, everywhere you want to see, on the Instagrams even. Um, I am going to be playing Neith. I almost started saying she's a halfling barbarian. <laughs> That's Monday. Uh, she is a mermaid space alien uh, from a, a water planet and has uh, a lot of skills in engineering and hacking. That's me. Thank you. Next up, we have Mecca. I was because me next. Hello, I'm Mecca. Uh, you can find me on the internet at MeccaVT on the Twitch and Twitters. Um, sometimes there's an underscore in there. Who knows? Um, tonight I will be playing Miles Scara. He is the formerly coward, now kind of maybe has too much cockiness in his step, um, after getting a bunch of space alien weapons slash technology, um, and he is the resident human of the crew, slash some of the NPCs, but they don't matter, uh, and he is, you know, the pilot of the, uh, the, the expert pilot, maybe. Or maybe he's a secret alien in disguise. Who's to say? Uh, yeah, it's me. All right, thank you, Mecca. Mr. Sita? Hello, Internet. My name is Sleepy, and I'm feeling very Sita tonight. Um, yeah, I don't know. I didn't sleep well. You can find me places on the Internet. I'm out there. My name's the, the thing. You can look it up. But tonight, I'm playing Mozart. He's a uh, android. He's a bit of a murdery card, although 
recently. He's got a bit of a soft spot for his companions. Don't worry, I'll murder you all last. Uh, he is a, a scholar, despite all appearances, with a, a penchant for pop culture references. And, uh, Roy, I, I, I think that's about it. All right, thank you. And then, last but not least, our GM for tonight, David. Yeah, David. Uh, you can find me here on Tuesday nights whenever we're playing. And yeah, tonight I'm GMing this uh, space adventure. Um, which, yeah, last time on our space adventure, uh, you guys kind of, you met like a weird fade who was a uh, mechanist and you did some trading with him. He just, he just wants to build things and he wants you to have his inventions and he doesn't quite care what you're using them for um and yeah like basically gave you some stuff just to you know put him in contact with the incoming fleet because he does have some goals of his own he wants to find a way off this planet because he's currently stuck here so he wants some kind of quantum computing device or something like that where he can entangle himself with another computer made out of normal matter and then he can just be in two places at once um but yeah, so you, you did that. You got off planet with your new fancy stuff. You got your uh, you got your your nice force field armor uh, things, and you got a bunch of nice new weapons. Um, and Mozart, you didn't get a ship. No, you wanted one, but that's it. it didn't end up happening, right? Yeah. Well, we gotta we gotta bring him the um quantum computing device for her for her and then yeah then you get your own ship that you can just like be you can just put your your uh yourself into it and wear it uh like you do your other uh uh what are they called they're not called skins are they shells shells okay and yeah so you did that you got off planet um and uh with your you know your rescued uh uh, diplomats and other, you know, various people that you rescued along with the diplomats, uh, got them to the fleet, turned them in, got your bounty. Um, along the way, as you landed on the fleet, there was a slight uh, confrontation between Skara and someone who seemed to know something about Skara's past that maybe Skara had killed his brother in, a, in some kind of crash. Um, the confrontation didn't go great. Uh, the guy left very mad. Uh, but don't worry, later on he turned up murdered inside your all ship. Uh, and your ship was uh, sabotaged with some acid. Uh, some industrial acid that had kind of messed up your spike drive. You're going to have to do some repairs before you can leave. And yeah, there's a dead guy on your ship. Uh, he had been. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Did you guys see how he was killed? Um, he's been yeah. stabbed. Yes. Okay. I didn't want to say if you hadn't noticed, but yes, he's been stabbed, and um, uh, yeah, he's. Uh, we'll we'll get into it, if uh, because I, I don't remember if you saw anything else about him or not, but we'll we'll get into that. But yeah, there's, there's a the, dead guy. Uh, weren't the security logs on ship also tampered with too? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, they're deleted. So there's no information as to what happened to this man here. Yeah. And there were too many people coming and going, so Pleasant wasn't able to keep track. Um, and then, as you mentioned, acid damage to the engines, especially the spike drive. I did have a thought, and this is maybe a thought that might be a bit difficult to execute. But if we're able to access the stations, like security cameras and any cameras that were facing our ship, then we would be able to track who came in and out of our ship. But that may be a bit difficult, especially considering we have a dead person on our ship. Yeah, but uh, still maybe, you know, depending on how... Um... Not necessarily by the books, but like how, like, we're if 
if we didn't need to do the repairs, I can see us just <laughs> dumping the body into space and being like, well, this was weird. <laughs> and then going. But since we are going to need to do repairs, I imagine we're going to need to tell the station we're docked with, uh, which has relieved a few ships, if I'm remembering right. Um, and be like, hey, someone got killed on our ship. Uh, it wasn't us. Um, so, yeah, I do think it would at least be a starting point to uh, see, you know, if they have security that uh, footage that shows who came and went. But that's still just like making a smaller haystack on that alone. Um, but uh, we do have that device that Skara got for, um, you know, watching the past. Yeah. Well, yeah, which takes a little bit of time to use, but won't take that long to just look back in the past couple hours. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is, I don't remember if it got mentioned last time or not, but you would definitely notice it with any kind of examination of the body at all. I don't know if it's been done or not, other than just brief look to see if he's, see how he died. I mean, I don't think we've done a thorough uh, examination okay. of the body yet, but that's something we can do. Uh, I guess, would that be um, notice rolls or? I think, I think this one is just going to be kind of, um, yeah, 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 probably some kind of notice. I'm, I'm wafering on whether or not I should just give it to you for free. Uh, <laughs> Uh, but yeah, give me some kind of, someone give me some kind of notice. Who is the best at notice? I've got a plus I one. I think I might be, I just upped it in my last level up, so I've got a plus two. I've got a three. Is that, uh, intelligence or wisdom? Uh, I, I would allow three. either. Can multiple people do it, or? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so... Intelligence or wisdom? Shame, I'm terrible at both of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, plus zero, but... Okay. Nice. Look at us go. Both Bang. good. Oh. <laughs> uh, I got, got double, double sixes. sixes. <laughs> oh, nice. I opened my eyes for the first time. I can see <laughs> see the universe in its entirety. All right. Um. So yeah, you all are kind of there. You're you're looking at the body. How much are you? Are you touching the body at all? Or are you what? How are we noticing things? Yeah, we are avoiding For the love touching of God, it. Do not touch the body. <laughs> I am not touching the body. <laughs> all right. Uh, I think I'll probably take out my compad and just probably start scanning. Him. Like if if we have a scanner in like the med bay or whatever, or anything. You'd probably yeah. need to take him to the med bay. I could just take a scanner scan from him. like a portable med uh, scanner. I mean, I don't know if that we you have one strong enough. Which, yeah, yeah, I don't know that you have one. There's, it's not. Really you take out track. a magnifying glass. <laughs> <laughs> what about um? Or or I go grab erstwhile. Erstwhile, yeah, that's a, like. <laughs> Name. Uh, see, er, so yeah, erstwhile. Let's see. Let's bring up erstwhile because erstwhile, I believe, is terrible at medicine. <laughs> mm. Like any of the the actual roles, just has the the biokinesis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, all so of, all of their medicine is just. Yep, heal is a psychic. minus one. So <laughs> uh, maybe not. Maybe I'll grab. Uh, I don't remember his name. Diego, your Diego is Diego good at medicine? Uh, he may be. It seems like he might know how how to. Yeah, but he also has like to have his hands together. He does he can just have like a look and be like, hmm? I mean, I, I don't want any of us touching the body, unless we have pleasant touch them, because he's artificial. So. Well, first thing we need to do is like, yeah, just look and see what's going on. But one of us needs to grab. Cops. What does my notice check give me? Okay, so 
every all three that rolled you notice that uh this guy is missing a digit on his right index finger it's like the top of his fingers cut off hmm maybe it's inside of a range and it's it's cut clean um it's you know there's some blood coming out of it and whatnot um scara you notice some blood um kind of on his lips oh maybe he tried to stop the bleeding and put his finger to his lips um or he's eaten the finger mm. there was a clean slice though on the finger so i doubt it was eaten well, wait that's well. not my voice it was a clean <laughs> i always forget my accent um <laughs> It was a clean break on the finger, so I don't. I doubt he bit his own finger off. Oh no! Um, but maybe the attacker perhaps, put it in his mouth after. But... but none of us want to touch him. If we can have pleasant pick him up, because that's not any of us. We can take him to the med bay and use one of the scanners. But that's still going to be disturbing the crime scene. I mean, our ship is now a crime scene. Right. So moving him from one part of the ship to another part of the ship doesn't seem like too horrible. I, I mean, think that's also, a terrible idea. Do we want to just grab the fucking Pleasant. time winder or whatever it is? My sweet I'm sorry. child. <laughs> uh, so yeah, over the radio, Pleasant just like, yes! Could you please contact the authorities? There's been a crime! Absolutely. What crime should I report? Unsure. Love you. Thanks. Somebody has <laughs> rudely unalived on our ship and destroyed our spike drive. <laughs> we don't want to go to conclusions. What if he killed himself? That's not for us to determine. Sure, he looks like he stabbed himself, cut off his own finger, and there's bloody lips. I don't exactly know what's up with that. Erased the footage and got rid of the, the yeah. stabbing thing. Yes. <laughs> Some people's revenge is pretty in depth. Let's not jump to conclusions. Dissolve the weapon acid. in the acid. Yeah. <laughs> there was acid in our sh in our like engine. Does it look like a finger may have been jammed in there? Um, I'll let you with that notice roll. Um, kind of you know examine the the crime scene a little bit more. Uh, and uh, you can't tell if if it was dissolved in the acid it's been dissolved completely this acid like ate through some really high tech material um, if this thing touched skin or you know any biological material it would have destroyed it like, right, there would have been nothing left our ship's bork so let's go fucking steal a ship or something I don't know <laughs> Right. Cat We've had this ship for like two weeks. Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like I'm. I might need to go to slip into something a little less, a little more uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah. So it might be good to you know uh, ease the uh, coalition security forces if you're not you know your big hulking best beautiful self. <sighs> oh. Um, should I go get the if I um, could blush the quantum thingamajig and uh, you know, try and see what's happened here before the authorities arrive or as they're arriving just to prove that we're like, you know, we didn't do this sure, it's going to be a minute before the authorities arrive because Pleasant's just reporting the vagueness of a crime has happened on your ship mm. so <laughs> It's going to be a conversation where they're trying to get it out of Pleasant, what it is. A very complicated before... form of graffiti. Yeah. <laughs> uh, before they show up. But yeah. Um, so the to use the device, I am going to want a, uh, let's say, a fix roll. It's all um, right, guys. I got this. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Don't break it, please. No promises. Kind of need this if we're going to get out of this. <laughs> it does not break. Does. Um, Damn 
I mean, yeah. So you set it up, you get it going, and it just kind of starts projecting um, kind of a hologram over the area of the past. And you're just kind of watching it rewind. Like, starts where you are, and it's rewinding at a few times speed. Um, And you get back to a little bit. I don't know exactly how long it has been since uh, the meeting you had and how long uh, um, and how long you were there but probably about halfway through the meeting is when you start to see the uh, the crime play out in reverse um, because you're watching it in rewind <laughs> um, and so you see uh, you know you, you're watching the body be there on the ground and you see somebody um, you know, kind of walking backwards, approach the engine. Uh, uh, do have dump. a compad out if we can to like record the hologram. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And uh, dumping some acid on the engine where the acid was was dumped. It then goes and leans over the body, placing the acid vial back in the guy's hands um and uh you see a uh you see him you see the the attacker i say uh open the the dead guy's mouth put something inside of it close it and i guess in reverse would it be yeah yeah so something out? take something out of his mouth yeah mm-hmm. yeah so take something out of his mouth uh and puts it uh in his pocket can we identify what it is uh give me a notice check do we know if this temporal thing has a like a, a pause and go back and forth function or is it just it's going i would say neath having set it up knows you can pause it you can actually go you can watch it in nor you you can watch it in normal after you get to the end of it as well mm. uh i got a 10 okay uh it looks to be the tip of a finger so he took cut off this guy's finger and put it in and then took it out of his mouth? Wait, uh, oh, right. So you saw him, He's... it looks like he takes the finger out of his mouth and puts it in his pocket, then re- then leans over this guy's body, cuts off part of his finger, puts it in it, or he takes a finger out of his pocket, reattaches it to the guy's hand with a knife, since it's going in reverse. Um, and then you see, uh, basically, uh the the guy who is who you got in the fight with uh get you know reverse stabbed in the back and the attacker um like kind of like sneak away from him and then jump up grab the like roof and pull himself up um and kind of like climb uh climb along the roof a little bit and with some of the like piping and stuff and get into a vent so um i would like i request needs to like push it back so we can see his face and then take a picture of him yeah the the face is relatively easy to see and i kept saying he i'm sorry that's just just some 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 bias no yeah but (laughs) uh it does appear to be Neath is a human from the planet you guys were just on. I turned towards Neath. <laughs> I mean, I doubt you did this. I have no... I have Neith literally has no zero... idea what she looks like. That, this is exactly what you look like. So I, I'm sorry. What I think mean? I think somebody transformed themselves into a human. But how many people do we know of that saw Neath in that form? So we know, obviously, Catherick and all of the 
inhabitants of the villages and stuff, but they have no like no way of getting here, right? As far as we know. Nope. We didn't have any like beef with anybody on the planet, right? So unless it just happens to be a coincidence that they look like exactly like needs human form. Or if it's just they were picking that form. I mean, it's Earth, it's Earthwild that changed Neath into that form, so. Mm -hmm. Earthwild, did you change, change anybody into a, into a <laughs> human recently that wasn't Neath or any of us? Just, just, no, absolutely not. Um, so we know they our venting system so if they entered our ship then it would have been through there if we use the station's security cameras then we can trace them further back we can try but you know evidently this attacker is some kind of shapeshifter themselves and so you know they could have looked like something else entirely when they walked onto well, the ship we we would notice i mean if we if we were if we get granted access through those security cameras or jack hijack with them or whatever, um, they didn't enter our ship through conventional means, right? They you might can't have. tell. They could have entered it conventionally, gone into the vents, and then got to Are we able to that way. How far? How big is the radius of this blowback? Uh, right now it's just kind of confined to the general area. You'd but have to made it wider. You'd have to like take it around and and rewind. I mean, that might, might be worth it just to find out who this person is. But I don't really want to leave the ship right now. Not with this. I Not have until a the authorities arrive. Is it our problem? I mean, this proves that none of us did it. I mean, it was. It was during the time that we were in our meeting so it couldn't have been us it's a problem for the authorities unless they make it our problem that's what i think they'll do they probably will and there are accounts of people seeing me talking to that fucking asshole over there um but, but we have an alibi and it is with the people who are we are about to talk to yeah but we're also a crew and why wouldn't we cover for each other as I've learned over these few past few months, I don't know. We were with them. It isn't just our word. It is the word of the people that we were with as well. Just full of scumbags. Just don't expect. Let's find out what they say, and we'll go from there. I'd rather do as little work as possible. I just want to get our, uh, our ship fixed, upgraded, and out of here. Me too. Right, come now, you lot. Have no interest in a mystery. And you turn around and um, uh, Mozart is in his human form, which is, again, like a really small, spindly, Batman's Alfred-looking dude. But he now has a deerstalker hat on and has a pipe. <laughs> Bubbles. <laughs> Right, we've got a mystery on our hands. Let's have some fun with it. Yes, and for all we know, this attacker is still on the ship. Everyone, give me a no roll. Intelligence, I assume? I didn't think about that. Yes, please. I contemplated bumping this up at level up. Did not. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bonus in... in... No, but I, 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 I know. I only know how to see things. I don't know how to. See. <laughs> uh, so we've got. Oh my God, Mozart a knows four, everything. five, a seven, and a twelve. All right, um, niece with the seven. Something is there, but you, you don't. You, you can't put your finger on it. There's, you've heard something like this before. Niece can't put their finger on it. Neither can this guy. Mozart, um, the chopped off finger and the finger in the mouth. 
uh, this is an MO of a serial killer that's been um, involved in multiple deaths across multiple planets in the sector for a while now. You guys have actually heard some news stories about them before, uh, back when we would do like the news stories of what was going on in the sector. Right then, it's elementary, my dear meatbags. This is indicative of the uh, the clip finger killer. Ring As he was called bells? on one of the planets that he's a serial killer on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, uh, which... We got another Jimothy rocking around? Boatsart, you would know that the fingertip in his mouth is going to be the fingertip from the last victim that the killer killed. So he just rides around with a fingertip in his mouth between murders. That's well, not in his mouth. He puts it. He took it from a pocket, or she took it from a pocket and put it in the victim's mouth. Oh, well, we we haven't gone rooting around in his mouth, have we? Because mm -hmm. we don't want to touch anything until the authorities get here. But I mean, based on the recording, we saw that. The killer put something in the victim's mouth and took the fingertip and put it in her pocket. Do we know after the killing happened, if we play it in forwards, where did they go after that? Ah, uh, yeah. They just walked uh, They walked out of the room. Oh. So you just see them uh, kind of the eventually the hologram area ends. It's not a huge area, so it ends pretty quick. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? We're totally got a freighter class ship. <laughs> uh, yeah, it probably like ends a little before the door, even. And there's no way to tell where they go after that. You'd have to move the device and then rewind time again to watch it. Which... Mon chéri, could you uh, ask a petite uh, happy boy if he could do scans of for any biosignatures on the ship? I could try. Pleasant, darling. Yes. Did you contact the authorities? I did. They'll be here in an hour. Oh, wonderful! Can you scan the ship for any bi or any uh bio life besides ours? Sure. And let's pull up Pleasant. Does yeah, he's got he's got an okay program. An hour response time. I mean that sounds about right. I mean we didn't yeah. tell them that there's been a murder and industrial sabotage. We're just like there was a crime. We should probably update that now that yeah. we know it's a serial killer. Yes. Yeah, so after the scan, <laughs> ask Pleasant to get back on the horn and be like, uh, serial killer. All right. Um, yeah, so he scans, um, and it is currently just uh, you all, the expected crew. Wonderful. Can you please update the authorities that we have a murder, and it is a serial killer? Absolutely. I'll call oh, him right back. Not the one that was murdered. To be clear, the serial killer did the murder. Interesting. I'll let him know. I love you. And, like, very quickly after that phone call ends, Pleasant comes back over the radio and says, they're on the way, and they ask that no one leaves the scene. Can do pleasant. No, I really, I, I heard there was a really nice hamburger place on this uh, station. Maybe I should just like, <laughs> no, kidding. Uh, uh, Neetha's gonna go into her room for a minute and come back just a little. And bit dispose later. of the evidence. Yes. <laughs> um, I know we said don't touch the body, but robots don't have fingerprints. Can I just use like a really slender tool? to lower the guy's jaw just a bit, see A, if there is a finger in there, which I'm sure there is, and B, like, what it looks like. Any 
need defining characteristics I could I could glean about that with my robot eyes. Sure. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, you can pretty easily open it up and see that there is a finger in there. Um, without needing to do any kind of notice check, I would say it's very clearly uh, not from this man as it is clearly a different ethnicity and that the fingertip is a is of a darker pigment. I guess aside from that, we mostly just wait for the authorities to show up. Yeah, which I guess uh, Mozart, you had that 12 on the no rule. That would line up with who you know to be the last known victim mm. of um, of this uh, serial killer. What did you call him? <laughs> the the clip finger killer. The clip finger killer. Um, yeah, it was a uh, visiting uh, diplomat on uh, New Seoul, which is not where we were last, right? Or was it? Not most recently, but we were on New Seoul recently. Which one was that? Was that where we talked to the emperor, or no, was that before that you guys was, got that with was So New Seoul was before we had you. Okay. Yeah, New Seoul was right where they were before uh before that well uh this killer clearly can do some high profile targets i don't know why they would be going after this schmuck though it's probably more likely that for whatever reason they want to inconvenience us they must be in love with Skara and are defending his right. So I, really I should highly clarify, doubt that. <laughs> I'm, I may have given a, a bad impression of what a, uh, the victim was. As a diplomat, I don't necessarily mean like an ambassador. I just mean like they're a part of a diplomatic team. Okay. Which there's a lot of, there's a lot of planets. There's a lot of governments. There's a lot of diplomats. So they killed someone important, but it's not like an insanely high profile killing. Okay. But, uh, I mean, either way, it's still, why are they coming after us? What's, what's the deal here? And again, how would they have known what Neith looked like on the planet? Unless Erswile chose that appearance for a reason. Erswile? Didn't we decide that the appearance was meant to like, like look like me, but female, like ish, apparently? I Do you have any siblings? Do you have any siblings, Skara? Uh, no, I'm a single child. And a single adult. Anyways. Ouch. Okay, there was no need for that. <laughs> Officers, All there's right. been another murder! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think the uh, I think the military police show up around now, and yeah, they're gonna you know ask that everyone come with them for questioning. Yep, I think uh, I think Mozart introduces himself as Mozart Holmes investigator, uh, investigator extraordinaire, and we'll just start acting like he's kind of above the basic. Uh, suspect list and like try to start working with them. Okay. Uh, give me a talk check. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Probably start putting points in the thing. Oh, no, that's not so bad. Okay, let's see what we get here. Mary. How's the 10 sound? Okay, <laughs> pretty good. They're still going to want you to come with them for questioning. But well, of course, of uh, course. They're glad to have, you know, a professional. Uh, investigator here to help him out. Yes. Yeah, and I mean, I I imagine we would have talked about this before they arrived, but we're we're fine with showing them. Hey, we have this rewinding device, 
And so, um, you know, should help things a lot, but they also might want to take it from us. Um, they try to take it. I'm like, that's my property. You have no right to do so. <laughs> Yeah, but like, you know, we'll cooperate with you, but this is, <laughs> this is our technology. I mean, for them to accept it as evidence, they would need to analyze it and s see how it works. Because it could just be a hologram. Yeah. You could just be making it up. Yeah, we don't have time for them all to go meet Mechanis and get their own copy. As long as it's guaranteed that I get it back, then I'm happy for them to borrow it. I mean, yeah, these people would have no reason to believe that it would be permanently taken from you. Like, as long as cooperate with the investigation, they would agree to that. Um, but yeah, they, you know, you can show them the, th the, the rewind of it. Um... And you know they'll they'll record it for their own evidence, uh, but then yeah they'll they'll want to take it and and analyze the device. Um, and yeah, you all will be taken um, for individual questioning, where they're basically just going to have you run through what your day was. Uh, here, just let me know if you're going to lie or not about anything. And if you do, I need a roll. But otherwise, if you just are truthful, we can kind of zoom past the initial interviews. I have nothing to hide. Depending on the questioning. I mean, they'll pretty quickly, by the time they're talking to you, Scara, they know that you have some kind of beef with the dead guy. Yeah, I will be very truthful. I will admit some of the Cockiness that my character felt towards his character, but like any lies that I told towards the dead guy, I will not lie towards the authorities. Like, okay. I will be like, yes, I piloted a ship. Um, but it was okay. sabotaged. And he'll give his side of the story, but he won't like. I think Scar is going to try and pretty much. He won't lie. He'll just build the story to be putting himself in a good light. A okay. good-ish light, you know. You want it to go in a very specific way. I think that is still probably a talk check, just to just okay. see if you can steer the conversation how you want it to go. Talk, charisma. Uh, yes, please. Ten. Okay, another two. Very good. Um, so it's there's a probably like a couple of rounds of this. The first time just going to be like some MP talking to everybody about it. Um, the second time they'll have someone in who's a little bit more of an experienced investigator. Um, and this is someone who you would recognize to be probably from Diego's planet. Um, she's wearing, uh, blue robes and has a sword in it and a pistol and keeps her hands together quite a lot, but actually will take them apart to like shake hands and stuff like that she speaks entirely in french and do, 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 do. let me pull up her sheet here where's my thing and uh yeah and goes by the name of evelyn i was about to be like are they also named diego <laughs> uh no no only people only trailblazers with the uh, white robes are named Diego. Because they go by, this person is on a different pilgrimage, I guess? Uh, yes. Yeah. She uh, walks the path of prudence. Mm, that makes sense for an officer. Well, authority, I suppose. Um, but yeah, she, same kind of thing, you know, just probably asks a little bit more detailed and insightful questions. Uh, but again, as long as everyone is truthful, um, we'll get you out of individual interview rooms and back together. Does uh, Diego also get questioned? Yes. Yeah. Diego, uh, erstwhile, and Pleasant. 
Yeah. Um, so the results of the interview are, are that you are all allowed to, to, you know, have limited, you know, access to the ship. Um, you're not going to have as high security, you know, you, you're not going to have access to any kind of secure areas because you are potential, um, you know, either witnesses or suspects in this man's death. Um, and at the moment, um, Pleasant is being kept in custody as they believe the most likely suspect. Pleasant? Yes. Oh, well, well, Mozart My will... son? Yeah. We had pictures of <laughs> this guy. Oh, Karen pants are going on. <laughs> I think I think we'd very quickly be like, hey, we also have evidence and photos of <laughs> the killer. Uh, Evelyn in you know French would be like, I'm well aware of this. Thank you. And uh, you think the nine foot to... tall construct? I think that whatever this was, they were able to disguise their image in some way. Um. Pleasant, and... the one who can't do combat. The one who is obligated to follow the law. They don't necessarily know his limitations. Yeah. He's so just, he? he's a combat model. Uh he's in custody right now. I would like to see him, please. That can be arranged. Don't worry. Um and then the other person that they would be holding in custody would be Erstwhile. That kind of makes more sense. <laughs> yeah. With oh, the sir, ability to shapeshift <laughs> people. Uh, but yeah, they were not in the meeting and they have the ability to shapeshift. Um, Diego was also not in the meeting. Um, so they're keeping an eye on him, but you know, he can't shapeshift. And he unless he was has... working with Erstwhile. Doesn't like Diego also have the pilgrimage of like he has to tell the truth? Yeah, yeah. So, so kind of he doesn't easier. lie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Mozart would mention the um, uh, everything about the uh, the uh, clip finger killer, though. Uh, even encouraging their investigators to open up the victim's mouth. I deduce there will be a fingertip in there, and if my uh, you know if I'm right, it'll match the match up with the last known killer uh, uh, back on New Soul. Um, and for uh, Evelyn will say, yes, of course. Um, that has been found. Uh, it does match the killing in our database. Unfortunately, it doesn't help clear anyone in your group um, as we don't have this ship's history uh travel history is it's relatively new to your group um the other aspect of it is that it is within the time frame that it might be one of the passengers you rescued from the oasis of the stars oh my god uh, it's alfie unfortunately nothing my dear evelyn it is a clue we are further along on this mystery together it's unlikely it was one of them. The It would have been cutting it very close for someone to make it from New Seoul to Rendezvous with um, the Oasis of the Stars in Pangea before it embarked. But it is possible with the right ship. With your permission, uh as I am an investigator extraordinaire, what would be all right with you if I worked with your crime scene investigators? Keep my hands clear of everything, but I would like to speak with them and learn what they learn. Absolutely. Yes. As, yes, you four are... No. Going to see my son. All right, that can be arranged. Um, she'll kind of like nod to someone 
who will take you to see Pleasant. As people are going away, Ellen's like, so we have semi free range of this station then? Any good bars around here? <laughs> um, not really. It's a, you know, it's a military vessel. Surely uh, there will be a place for like your soldiers to wind down, though. You don't, you're not on the clock all the time. It has to be some kind of recreational part. True, there are recreation rooms and things like that. But uh, again, it's it's not like a bar. <laughs> yeah, and like what does uh, even be open to visiting civilians? We'll get you set up with some with uh, some quarters, and you'll have access to the mess hall, and you know limited access to the rest of the ship. Just just when I thought I got back in space, back off of a goddamn planet, thought I could fly good and free. And yet here I am, grounded again. This fucking sucks. <laughs> and we'll of course begin uh, repairs on your ship. Thank you. Ignore my um, discontent, but I'm sure you can imagine it's pretty frustrating. It's understandable. Is there anything more you need from us at this time? Obviously, we are quite anxious to uh, get this resolved and, you know, uh, see justice done. But... Nothing at this time. No, thank you. If it means anything, we are on contract from the Emperor. We are aware. Yes, that is part of why you're not all in custody while we figure it out. Uh, round about now, um, Neith, you've been uh, taken to Pleasant. Um, he's sitting in a cell and he's just kind of like sitting on, on the bed that they have in it. Uh, she like puts her hands on the bars. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm worried. Understandable. Are they treating you well? Of course. Have they accessed your protocols? They have not. They should, because they can see that you cannot do harm. I will have to help them access the protocols, or you would have to help them. I doubt they have the technological technological capabilities. All right. Do you consent to that? Sure. Wonderful. Guards! All right. You can begin to uh, kind of get that set up. Uh-huh. And yeah, it'll take them a little bit of time. They'll probably have to take some stuff from your ship that's like specifically made to interface with Pleasant. Um, since he is pre-tech. Um, but yeah, they can, they'll get some, uh, some ship engineers to, to rig something up so they can start reading, uh, Pleasant's protocols. Okay, good. I didn't know Pleasant was pre-tech. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Um, on our I would first like planet. to... I would like to go back and there's two avenues that I want to start investigating. Uh, I want to see if we, if there's any remnants of that acid left, or if there's any way we can identify uh, what kind of acid is used by its scorch marks or anything, uh, you know, residue, anything like that. Um, and second of all, I would like to run through the schematics of the ship and figure out the most likely point of entrance given that they climb down through the vents, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would, I'd like to see where that vent goes and maybe figure out where they likely came in from. Okay. Yeah. Um, so give me... Give me, a, I guess, a, a notice to find some of the acid. All right. 11. All right. Yeah, you're able to find maybe not any of the acid, but you're able to find, um, you know, a piece of metal that has uh, some kind of chemical residue on it left that you believe you could analyze. 
And yeah, for something like that, you're going to need a scanner. You're going to need a scanner of some kind to run a program with. And then you'll probably need to roll a no to know what the results mean. Do we have something like that on the ship? Yeah, probably. Um, Neith would know. Um, I'm pretty savvy with tech, though, myself. She's okay. she's dealing with her boy. I'm, I'm not going to bother with that. Um, I will have one of the uh, CSI guys, though. As soon as I see that, I'll be like, right, look, found this. Come with me. Let's go scan. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, you go to uh, engineering where Neith would keep tools like this and pretty quickly can find some kind of scanner that would work. Uh, so, yeah, give me a program. Oh, right one. Uh, cool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you Detective uh, are on the case. You get a really good clean scan of it. Give me a no check. Well, luck had to run out sometime. <laughs> it's fine. You don't know what it is off the top of your head. But um, you have some really solid results that you can uh, send with the the team for them to cross check yeah. and run and that see what it database. is. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, you'll you'll know what the asset is uh, pretty soon. And then the second thing you wanted to do was check to see where the vents would have come from. Uh, would have led from. Let me look at y'all's. Uh, actually, let me go over here. All right, so it was in the spike drive. Um, so likely the vents would have, um, unless they just really crawled through the vents a lot the most likely place they would have come from would have just been from kind of directly above. Um, there's a few rooms up there. There's uh, the, the power core. Um, and then there's also the workshop here that you're in. That's pretty close to it as well, as well as the mess hall. All of them have are the closest access vents that would lead to that. Outside of that, they would just be coming from like a yeah yeah those would be the only ones that it would be a really it'd be really weird if they came in from a vent in the cargo bay which would be the closest room on that level of the ship uh because the those vents are like hard to reach okay uh, we well, are on given the, that i'm not ruling out map, we don't see the the ship layout uh yeah let me get you over there uh Given that the appearance of this being was exactly like Neath's human form, I'm not ruling out that there's some sort of shapeshiftery thing that could be as big or small as they want to be. But I am I would like to investigate those uh, rooms first. But I also don't want to eat up all of yeah. the spotlight. So, so yeah, this is taking you a while. Mm -hmm. um, what are what are uh... Uh, Teddy and and Scar are doing. I think I had just a th I just had a thought for out of character. This may be like so long shot that it doesn't even matter uh, of what this could be uh, of the spindly weird wire things if they are able to take forms maybe they can take more than just whatever we've seen them as maybe they can take humanoid forms too but they wouldn't uh, match up on time for the, if this is a known serial killer, so probably isn't. Yeah. Um, Unless they're just copying. I'm not sure what the motivation. Yeah. I mean, it could be a copy killer. Um, but I think Scar is not sure what to do. So at the moment, so he's settling into new crew quarters walking around as much as he can uh, like just um, seeing places and potential exit strategies 
I think they probably sense. put you guys on a different ship than the one this guy was stationed on, just to make sure you're not like bumping elbows with any of his friends. Mm-hmm. Um, since it's you know a few ships kind of docked and acting as a space uh, station. Um, yeah, Teddy. Seeing anything? If, seeing, I'm, I'm also just seeing if like anybody needs a pilot to fly them around a sector or something, or anybody wants to me to show off like loop to loop skills or whatever. Gotcha. <laughs> um, I think Teddy will make it known that he has telepathy, and so, um, you know, offers those services for once we start finding some suspects, you know. If it is a shapeshifter, you know, that would be you know, presumably a good way to be like, you're not who you who you think you are. Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah. Um, all right. Yeah. Uh, so Evelyn would yeah, be uh, more than happy to take you up on that offer, um, especially for interrogations. They would, of course, need to probably independently verify the information. So, you know, no offense, but they'll either have to, you know, get another telepath to verify or they'll have to have evidence as you're so closely connected to the case. But as there aren't many telepaths, they'll take you for now, for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, you know, I imagine we could do, you know... Uh, the stuff that they're always like, this is how you prove you're a telepath, and have them, like, they pull out a deck of cards, and I don't get to see them, and I just tell them what they are, that kind of thing, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. For sure, yeah, you could easily prove you're a telepath. Yeah, That would I not guess be hard. Easy enough to prove I'm a telepath, then the question is, do they believe, you know, the rest of the, <laughs> the info that I'm telling them? Yeah, that's the big one. Is Yeah, are you... Is this somehow y'all's crew and you're you stepped in it? But uh yeah. So the other thing will be is with the interview of um the other passengers that you rescued, they would be able to identify the picture of the person who um killed the dude as niece person and on the planet um so y'all are pretty heavily linked to it Mm -hmm. they they basically are like yep it's one of these people one of you guys or one of the rescued passengers well at the at the very least you know they have neath um Needs alibi is in the meeting, but um, uh, just figuring out. I'm just gonna like message the group chat, I guess. Being like, does anybody have any enemies? You may have. I certainly may have a couple, but right, that depends. Is all living things count? Anybody have personal grudges against you? I should right, about that. everyone I've met. I don't know. You're, you're all right. Aww. I have many, but none that know that I am here. As far as you're aware. It would be unlikely. Hmm. I guess if you're a mermaid, then a lot of your enemies would be mermaid people, and they don't breathe outside of the water unless they have one of your... I do not appreciate that language. That is our word. You cannot use it. My apologies. What would you like to be called? Uh, Neef fried... is my name. Fried fish? If Uncomfortable I tell you what we silence are called... on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> you will know where I am from, and I am not okay with that. Oh, no, it's all right. It's okay. I mean, I'm human, so <laughs> that's pretty obvious. Yes. You're only human. After all. Okay. Well, uh, I assume Teddy doesn't have any enemies because that wouldn't make any sense in my mind. Well, I'm sure there are people that I have inadvertently pissed off previously, but... um, Nothing to this extent. I don't imagine so, though... uh, 
just like trying to think back through previous clients of like, I don't think I have anyone who got that attached to me that they would go this far. You'll kill a random guy that's connected to me in a degree. I'm going to look through my contacts and see if I can, through any previous connections, see if anybody knows this person, this supposed serial killer, talk about their MO, potentially where they may have been seen last kind of thing. What? That's something I can do. Um, so you're trying to see if you know anyone who knows more about this? Yeah. All right, that is going to be a connect roll. Yeah. So will we even be able to contact them? Because we're in a like unexplored system that they're probably not going to be in. Yeah, they have not... to be a part of this fleet. So okay, well, maybe I, I've Scar knows a lot of people. DC. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, it's I assume very charisma. hard. Yes, charisma, please. Eight. Mm. You know yes. people, but no one that would be involved in this fleet, as far as you know. Uh, well, time to make some new friends. All right. So you want to make new friends. Uh, Teddy, uh, was it? what were you doing? I'm trying to remember. Did uh, we say? Being a telepath with Evelyn oh, to, that's right. to help. That's right. And Neith, are you helping... Uh, the engineers get stuff set up for Pleasant, or are you doing something else? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get my boy out of prison as quickly as possible. Okay. Um, Neith, go ahead and give me a fix roll, then. Okie dokie. Oh. Let's go! 11! Okay. There's part yeah. of me that was hoping that was like your worst role of the entire campaign. It's like, no, my boy! <laughs> no, my son! Uh, Alright, we can make another one. The, we, can the bottom... like, we can't. He's pretext. No, absolutely not. Can we get like a backup of his of his brain? <laughs> the Neith, Neith being the background that uh, she is, can't fail too badly at it, so... <laughs> That would be uh that would be too too weird. Uh but yeah, eleven's good. Um I think over you know the better part of a few hours you're able to work with these engineers and they get something built. Um and they are now interfacing with Pleasant and they're just going through his program, which is gonna take a while. I'll be there the whole time, reassuring my boy who doesn't need me at all. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, his demeanor is always the same, but maybe he gets some comfort <laughs> from having you nearby. Does he? Hard to tell. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like if Data acted really friendly all the time, like just overly happy and cheerful. It's like, does he have emotions? Who knows? Kind of does, yeah. Kind of does. Perhaps we're looking about this the wrong way. What if we're not the target, but just a convenient excuse? I'm doing some scams right now, but if you and you lot feel like maybe investigating Scara's uh, buddy, maybe get into his quarters, figure out about him. Yeah, I was just about to say, like, based on the temporal scanner, like, why was the victim in here in the first place? Did we see what he was getting up to before he got stabbed? So basically, to to explain the scene in normal, in, in the normal flow of time, yeah. this guy walked in here with the acid. Looks like he was going to pour it on the ship. Someone dropped down from the ceiling, stabbed him in the back. Took, uh, uh, cut off his part of his finger, put it in his pocket, took another part of the finger out, put it in his mouth, took the acid, and put it on the, the engines. So he continued what this guy was going to do. Bastard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this guy was here to fuck with you guys. Makes well, sense. I don't feel so bad that he's dead. Do we know that? Oh, that guy. Do we know this? The serial killer's mo of like, like, is there any rhyme or reason to who they pick, or you know, do they just attack people who are alone? 
ask what is um, their normal victim yeah uh give me a um so there hasn't been one that's been published um so it's kind of seems a little random there isn't like a demographic or age or anything like that or even careers that would be able to link it um the only thing that really connects it is and also pretty much prevents the idea that there's any kind of copycat killers about it is because they can trace the line of deaths because there's always the fingertip of the last person killed in the next person's mouth and there doesn't seem to be any motive for the killings there's no f- robberies there m- many of them are you know like there was the diplomat but there's also been like low-level criminals and and stuff like that there's and just like you know a teacher and you know random just random people um was there a downtime between the last kills that was longer than normal so no having okay because they were they weren't on the, the planet for that long were were all of the victims all the same species um i mean Both all human all human or human adjacent so there have been killings on like zebus with you know genetically modified people and stuff like that um but the vast majority of the population of this sector is human so just sheer statistics it's unlikely because like even teddy counts as human yeah yeah we're just a bunch of weirdos that mostly seem you know appear inhuman but teddy is technically a human it's just neath and erstwhile that aren't human and mozart and yeah pangea has like a larger alien population um but even then it's probably like you know like 20 percent non-human and that that's like outrageously large in the sector Okay. Well, once we clear ourselves, <laughs> we'll be good to go. Um, but if you wanted to know more about MO or anything like that, you have been led to believe that Evelyn and uh, you know this uh, the crew at the very least have access to the investigation files from other planets but that would require some hacking of some kind. And we all know that I'm the best at that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, uh, are we, d- d- have I cleared my son? Have I figured out that uh, he can't actually smoke No, him? it's yeah. probably gonna be like a day or so mm. as they dig through his program. Um, I, should, I should get back with the group but I want to make sure that he's being taken care of I'm going to leave him some oil and uh, <laughs> any supplies he needs uh, maybe a Rubik's Cube something to entertain himself with okay yeah he Rubik's quickly solves tesseract. the Rubik's Cube yeah. <laughs> and goes to oil <laughs> his joints all right Neath goes back to the rest of the group. All right, have they solved the crime yet? Not I yet. don't think so. Maybe mm-hmm. we should check out the um orders of this schmuck. <laughs> but I don't know how we're going to get onto that ship without, you know, all of them hating us. Do they even know that this guy's dead is the actual question? Are you mm-hmm. talking about the person who was killed? Yes. <laughs> hmm. Well, we know he was here for a reason, correct? He was here to damage our ship. He was here to do the thing that the killer decided to do for him. The question is, was she here to kill him? Or was she here to kill one of us? That is a possibility. It would make the most sense that they were here to kill you, Skara. I mean, I don't know why. Well, All you I'd are have the to only do is human human here. Over. I mean... 
That is human, kind of. Yes, but you are the one who mo- most humans look alike. So you are probably one that she, if it is someone who is shape-shifting, they probably just confused you two. I give them the most deadpan stare. <laughs> just the big uh-huh. eyes. <laughs> Blink. You know, sometimes I mistake you for human, for how mean you are sometimes. You have not met my the, And then I, I'm and then I nice. walk away. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Um... <laughs> Let's see. So, if we then walk... I walk back in the room. I just want to. See <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make a point. <laughs> so, if we're staying above board and all this, I imagine one of our next steps may be just trying to make sure we're able to account for all the the, the people we rescued, their whereabouts. And though I imagine Evelyn and her team are already working on that. I think I can cut down on that significantly on the time on that though. I was just looking at my um uh oh, what are they called? AI routines. Um and there's three here that might come particularly handy. Uh defeat security, uh just to to get in. Um query data. Uh you can ask uh, as a single action, you can ask a question. And get a reply as if you had virtually unlimited time to search and examine the database's contents. Um, and split focus, um, I can split my uh, attention, basically, my, my consciousness up to three for one processing point or 10 for a second point. So I could do a whole lot of searching really fast through cameras, um uh sensor logs that sort of thing all right so yeah if they can get you access to the databases you can you can get through it fast mm-hmm. meaning we might only need like a like a a brief window it's, it's just a question of you know how if we were to try and approach this legitimately, how would we convince them to let you have that level of access? And if we're not approaching it legitimately, how do we cover our asses in the case that they do find out that we're hacking into their systems? Right, well, <clears throat> I'm not one to uh, typically uh, want to hide my true identity, but as of yet, they think I'm a human. And uh, it might be wise of us to continue that. Exactly. All right. I could hack into the system fairly easily. So you grant access to Mozart and yes. I mean, I, I don't know enough about the hacking. Would you run? Would you do the thing they do in the movies where you like loop the camera feed or... That a thing? Of course. Put a picture of the room in front of the uh, <laughs> in front of the camera. Mm-hmm. Sounds right. I suppose depending on where we do this, if uh, if we do get caught, I can try and do the thing where I make them not think about this uh, long enough for us to get away. Um. Oh yeah, it does say once the effect ends, the target will remain oblivious to their temporary fugue unless it is brought to their attention somehow. If this goes poorly, I've already spotted three escape pods that we potentially could take. I don't know where, we probably had to go back to the planet, but... I like that ship. I do too. But I want to buy a better one with all the money we're about to get. Are we sure that they won't grant us access if we ask? we can try but then we run the risk of if they say no like no you're civilians this you should not be accessing this then they'll be more watchful if we try and do it it's one of those is it better to ask forgiveness than permission sort of situations that is fair you are the captain please make the decision So 
to, I guess, stepping back for a second, what would it take for us to get access to hacking? Just access to any of their terminals or would we need to get to like a specific room or? You would have to get access to their whatever kind of network you're looking to get into. So whatever this database is, if it's secure, you'll probably need to get access to um, a secure area of the ship. You wouldn't necessarily have to get to a terminal. There are uh, points where you can just like attach a device that would allow you to hack the system, like just get close enough to whatever it is, whatever mm -hmm. the network is. Um, we are specifically but, yeah, you... being barred from secure parts of the ship right now because we're suspects. Mm -hmm. I can also make myself invisible to sensors. Not to like anyone actually looking at a uh, like a, a direct feed, but if you can get me close enough to a secure room, I can just get in. Yeah, and then I guess it would just be a question of, you know, if they have actual guards there, that's probably going to be Teddy working to distract them. All right. Sounds like we have the basics of a plan. All right. Yeah, so do a quick break and we come back. You guys do a little hacking? Yeah, gonna do some hacking, solve a crime, and then sail off into the sunset. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you everyone for joining us for the first half of tonight's entertainment. We are going to take a break, refill water grab snacks, take meds, all that good stuff, stretch. And so we'll be back when we're back. It's a Tuesday, uh, <laughs> you know, but uh, yeah, thanks for sticking with us and we'll be back real soon. Hello, internet. Welcome back. Thank you for sticking with us on our break. We are as fresh as we can be with the, the sleep deprivation amongst a lot of us. There's enough to put down a, a, a small child, at least. Uh, just put them to sleep for, oh, I mean, how long do kids sleep? Not long like, enough. I was like, where are you going for? Man, I don't, I don't know, but all, all the parents watching, I don't know, if like any, any imaginary parents watching this are like, oh, yeah, that would be great. Please <laughs> just take our time and hours. put it in the child. <laughs> oh anyway uh we are back and ready to try and solve a murder mystery by doing some crime because you know we we don't want to just sit around and wait for the the system to do its thing uh that would be boring television <laughs> and so yes. yeah it's one it's one of those things of like the smart thing to do would be just let them do <laughs> do their things but then that's just us like sitting here while david's <laughs> talking to himself over and over yeah, i just tell you a story of of how you're cleared of murder yep like... <laughs> tell us a bedtime story david <laughs> this is how you got found not guilty but uh yeah so you guys are gonna break into a secure area basically if it's secure you're gonna there's gonna be some way to hack into their secure systems there mm -hmm. um and you're not having to get to like the super super secure stuff so like the bridge stuff would be on like its own separate system so you you know you don't have to get to those areas but any kind of secure area would probably get you what you need um and uh yeah so who all is doing what is everyone going one um because if you're trying to be stealthy i don't know who's good at stealth and who's bad at stealth um and it's also I, I want... a little bit social stealth remember too yeah so uh... i i have a plus one to sneak yeah i mean i'm also good at sneak i got all the social skills um I've so... got... I'm bad at sneak. Bad at sneak. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But I gotta be there. Well, at least at least one of us between me or erstwhile. And I think it would be good if both of us were there. Well, mm, erstwhile is currently Neith. locked up. Yeah, Neith between you and Neith. yeah, Neith. Uh, yeah. So yeah, if Neith can get there, you can get in through 
underneath just like attaching a device. Um, so you wouldn't have to necessarily be there. But again, if you were there, probably. You That's know. how we've done something in the past. I remember that's how we kind of, before we had Mozart on the team. Mm. I remember. Yeah, there was there was a lot of hacking going on on the first planet you guys were on as you were trying to get out of the that uh, kind of like military uh, group. Bunker. Yeah, uh, the bunker. And then you guys were like, were. Isn't that where we found the, uh, the guy that was in cryo sleep before this room? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. But yeah, anyways. Um, I, so Diego's good at sneaking, but he's probably terrible at the social aspects of it. Yeah, no, so we, we would do volunteer need, to stay behind. Yeah, we don't need Diego for this. <laughs> um, yeah. we're here to hack into your systems. <laughs> They'd be like, "What are you doing here?" And he'd be like, "I can't tell you that." <laughs> like, <laughs> or he wouldn't say, "I can't." He just he would say, "Like, I'm not going to tell you," because you can't uh, lie. Mm -hmm. I would just say, "Hey, can you pretend to be a silent monk?" <laughs> But he can't do that. He can't pretend. Well, he can't pretend, yeah. but he can also just choose to be silent. If they, he he couldn't misrepresent it in any way. He has True. to be honest, even if he's not telling them the information they want. He, he can stay behind. I'll probably just say <laughs> protect whoever the whoever whoever's staying behind. You know. Yeah, just like keep okay. an eye on who's coming and going from the ship. You know, make sure. Okay, they're he'll all... keep an eye on the ship. You guys go hack what you need to do. Okay. Yeah, so we don't have Pleasant along. there to, to uh, whatchamacallit, um, keep an eye on the ship currently. I, I trust you. He's my henchman, after all. You're a pretty shitty all henchman right. if you didn't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> my level 2 had henchman. I'm too sure I could pick up some schmucks just to like, walk around with us, but <laughs> I'm not going to do that because that would cost creds. And I have... So many creds, what am I talking about? <laughs> right? Yeah, we're yeah. rich now. <laughs> but... you, could, you could be bribing people to get you into these areas with your, your henchman-y stuff. It's very true, I could just do that. <laughs> I'm I feel like there's some video game out there that lets you do that. <laughs> just like, you're going up to do a crime and like, there are the guards, and then you just throw money at them and it's like, cool, we're on your side now. It could be Assassin's Creed where you just throw money on the ground and everyone just like piles into it. Grab it. Possibly. I know there's bribe options in Starfield, but I haven't unlocked them yet, so mm. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, okay. I'll anyway. play the game eventually. <laughs> so, anyways, all four of us are going to do this. Mm -hmm. I could just pay people with my ability. I mean, just we'll see if it comes through, to if that. It comes to that. Yeah. All right. Yeah, if it goes bad, maybe you can roll a connect and get one of these people to to hinge for you, who's who would have maybe turned you in otherwise, and pay him some money. Oh yeah, yeah, lead. Sorry. All right. Um, yeah. So you all are are going out. Um, I want some kind of roll to be stealthy. Via, you know, real stealth or social stealth or something. Um, I'll leave it to you if you think the skill would work. Uh, run it by me. Yeah. But um, of course, stealth will work. How about shoot? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No. <laughs> uh, I guess it's... I never got any of my skills above a plus one. Because I never banked <laughs> enough points to, to do that. Uh, so it's just a question of which plus one I want to go for. Um, because I guess are there any I know we're being kept out of the like the most secure areas but how close can we get to a secure area before it starts getting suspicious um so I think you could probably get relatively close. Um, there's going to be like hallways and stuff you can walk down that you could pretty quickly turn down and get into a room uh, to get to a secure area. But you'd have to like hack into the room, you know, do that stuff. And, um, you know, you'd have to make sure no one notices you go into that hallway. 
I mean, so one of us single roll to get you to the door. One of us could be distraction if need be. I guess of the, everybody who's needed here, I would be the one who's least needed. Yeah, sure. If you want to cause a distraction. I mean, I'm not a hacker. Oh, I'm a pilot. I'm a pilot, could, damn it. <laughs> I'm a pilot and I do trade. I'm not exactly, unless there's something valuable in there, then probably not going to be useful for me. Um, I could, you know, go have cardiac arrest or something or, you know, like, shoot myself and like suddenly like I'm an injured person or I could just fake it or maybe I shouldn't do that at all because you know that's kind of more suspicious than suddenly an set, injured person I could set your leg to malfunction I'm good thanks okay, I'm just saying <laughs> so you I would mean, rather no, shoot not... your flesh and blood than have a temporary <laughs> damage to your robotic leg uh, I never in- said I was intelligent <laughs> how, how upset would you be if you spent a night in the brig Because you like, could you like really oh. drunk. Exactly, exactly. You could just go oh, up and like that ship. Kind of argue with the 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 security guards or whatever are present in front of this room, and just be like, "This is bullshit. Why you guys are looking into me?" I'm, I'm which innocent, which ship know? are we on currently? We're on like the the battleship that is the the um not de facto like ad hoc space station. Well, if oh. need be, then I can run distraction. I'll come up with something. Okay. If you, if it's necessary, you'll do mm. it. All right. But I guess uh, for uh, now, I'll probably. And just I try I did and... I did I did have a sorry I did have a thought about a malfunction. Potentially, you could make it so my jet boosts don't stop jetting. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that would be worse. I could just make it lock up. That wouldn't be so dramatic, though. I do I, I do really like this idea now of like, oh no, Scar can't stop Jeff who's seen it just like one scraping line, like, along so the long. hallways. <laughs> Wait, no no no. This is a great idea. Let's do that. Do you just have like one of them just do it yeah. randomly? Just, just like, like random yeah. bursts, just like <laughs> I got it. Yeah. That would be a great distraction. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, so I think we uh, set it up so that you can like hit a button or something to <laughs> cause this malfunction if we need it. Mm-hmm. Um. Okay, if that's what we're going with, I will need a fix roll from uh, we Nice fix? ahead of time <laughs> to sabotage the leg in the correct way. Oh my god! I built All these right. fucking legs. I know how they work. Double <laughs> sixteen. <laughs> Yeah, perfect. They're they're gonna do exactly what you want. And yeah, so with a quick press of a button, uh, Scar, what uh, or is it both? What 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 is it's exactly one. this malfunction? Okay, one I, leg I... is just gonna start intermittently jet boosting. Mm-hmm. Okay, so yeah, that'll cause a a good distraction, and it will make him really hard to catch. So, <laughs> cue the Benny Hill music. Like at one point, you think you're about to catch me. It's like it suddenly stopped. It's like, oh my god, thank you, please help. Yeah, yeah exactly. Grab onto you, and then you just you just jet out of their arms. Yeah, it's perfect. We also cover you in jelly so that you're too slippery. <laughs> <laughs> like I like like there's a, like a janitor walking past with one of those like wheelie things, and it's just got like mm-hmm. a bunch of oil to like loosen up something. Like splash through it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. Well, best of so luck to you. Let's get um some kind of rolls to get you to the door you need to. Um, best of us, that's probably sneak. Probably, unless you got a social option. So I'd la- allow like a talk, maybe to lie your way through or something like that. I could, I could try a talk. It's slightly better than my sneak, uh, and I could leverage it as, uh, since I'm an investigator on the case, I've got permission to get access. Yeah. Yeah. Would me jettisoning down a corridor help in any way of like giving a bonus to the role? Um, 
at least I for would sneaks. say that if you guys are just trying to do a pure sneak and you want to do the distraction first and not as a backup plan, yeah, you doing that will, I think, probably give everyone a plus one, and I'd probably lower the DC too. Okay. I, if do we think that should be the plan? I mean, it's far more entertaining if it is. It is, is a lot more yeah, entertaining. For sure. <laughs> okay, let's just go with that. I'll just do that. <laughs> okay, so we've already got the roll. The the leg malfunction works great. So I don't need you to roll anything to distract the guards with uh, this horrible, horrible leg malfunction that starts just throwing you down this hallway. You're not allowed to go down. And you're just screaming for help, and it's very believable as you keep smashing into walls and the ceiling and the floor, and you're getting dragged along surfaces. Thank God! Thank God! I have uh, <laughs> the, the fourth armor. field armor. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I think even with it, let's get you. Uh, let's let's give you a, a reflex uh, save. Okay. Evasion. You mean? Evasion save. Yes. Okay, you're that's... good. Um, I'm going to roll you a little bit of damage. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> but you're pretty good. I'm pretty, thank you. <laughs> yeah. Come on. Dice. Four damage. Okay, well, Nothing luckily I just upped my AC, my, sorry, not AC, my, my, my hit points. So. Yeah. So you're a little bloody. You know, thankfully, uh, Neath also programmed it well enough that it's not like using too much force you're not like it's not like practically breaking your neck as it slams you into the ceiling or anything like that um but yeah let's get everyone a sneak roll and for this you get, everyone gets a plus one and i'm just looking for a six just don't actually fail it <laughs> all right yes, yes, yes so far so good you did oh, it! You got six! Got oh my god. I I just was looking at my character sheet. I'm like, I am absolutely just completely mid-max. I have minus ones in everything mm-hmm. except for five zeros, one one, and then all of my stuff is in fixed program. Yep. I mean, that uh, seems to be how the system is meant, is to min-max. Uh-huh. Mm. All right. Well, with a six... Um, you, you duck right into the doorway, right as, uh, right as someone, uh, kind of looks back to see if anyone's following them, but, oh, thankfully no one was seen. Um, I feel like there yeah, may have been like one person who may have seen Neath and then like, I just like <laughs> rock it behind them and around the corner, like, what, what? <laughs> just take them out. You just, just, just straight metal leg to the head. They're unconscious. <laughs> I'm and... sorry. <laughs> Neath is like thumbs up, ducks behind the wall. And all I'm right, be sick after this. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, luckily you're a pilot. I think that. Oh yeah, Inertia train. It would be weird. It'd be weird if you got motion sick. So I'm not. It's you just, could probably I'm handle being it. Being concussed. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, you're not too. But the 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 shield's doing a good job. Sometimes of... I'm using. I'm trying to use my other rocket leg, like that's actually functional, to like sometimes make it sh- so I don't like slam too hard into things. Oh, you're trying to counteract the one rocket leg that you don't control with the other rocket leg that you do. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> doing weird splits and spinning. <laughs> 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 All right. Okay, I'll leave you guys well, to it. <laughs> the hilarious scene that unfolds is Skara rockets around the ship, uh, injuring himself, uh, while a bunch of guards chase after him to try and try and help him out. Uh, continues to go on for quite some time, um, and yeah, you guys are at a door. It is locked, um, so I will need something to get you past the door. Uh, program works, fix works. Uh, I probably even allow a sneak. Uh, just to like be good at sneaky things. All right, thirteen program. Uh, you get into the the keypad and you do a quick little little hack and you're in. And you guys are in. 
So what's a good secure room that's not too crazy? So it's not going to be like the armory or anything like that. Um, maybe just like a maybe just like a server room. Like nothing nothing nuts. It's just got some just got some computers in here. Just got some computer servers. I dig that. That's probably the one of the lower security areas that is a security area. And yeah, um, now we just need uh, basically you're here, so you have access. So you just need to hack it. So it's a program, uh, which actually, uh, Mecca, you said you had the the defeat security thing. What 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 you have? Sorry. Or not Mecca, yeah, Mozart, sorry, yes. Yep, yep, uh, the ones I'm thinking are going to be particularly useful here, defeat security, split focus, and uh, query data. Okay. And I, I have three uncommitted processing, so I can do all of that if I need to. Okay, cool. Um, so if you, you can do a hack... If you want to save any of the points, you guys can legitimately hack it if you don't want to use like the defeat security. It's no reason to say that Neath couldn't also be hacking while I'm hacking. That's true. Two hands, same keyboard. Let's yeah. go. <laughs> yeah. We made that joke this weekend. Yeah. I got a okay. tan. Oh, yeah, I guess I should roll things, huh? Do, 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 do. Teddy is mostly there in case someone happens to walk in, but I'm also realizing, like, I'm a little surprised there isn't a telepathic move that's just like, open your mind and scan for, you know, <laughs> minds around you. That doesn't seem to be like a, a telepathic uh, discipline technique. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, nothing quite like that. Yeah. Um, so yeah, Neef with the 10 is good enough to get past uh, this level of military security. Um, just, the DC was actually a 10. So um, yeah, you're in. Um, and yeah, can start, can start going through stuff. So you have access to the network now. Um, that's going to give you access to the ship's camera feeds and their databases. So you can look into their, uh, the, the files they have on, uh, uh, what was it? The finger clipper killer or whatever. Yeah. Like finger um, clip killer or I, I put it in here somewhere. That's all right. We can just call him clippy. <laughs> clippy. Clip, yeah. Clip finger killer. Oh, now I get why the clippy is posted in the Discord. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> so here's where I want to use query data. Um, I would like to uh, run through all of the faces and uh, registered people on the ship and cross compare that to anyone that I noticed at New Soul, which I re oh, wait, no, I wasn't there. I wasn't yeah. at New Soul. Son of a gun. But what you could do is like check the people that we rescued and like see where cameras are tracking them at all the different times and then figure out like, oh, you know, suspects A, B, and C were all like off grid during these times. They may be more of the, the suspects. Was there also a camera focused on our ship from the point we arrived? Yeah. Yeah, there's uh, cameras in the uh, in the hangar. Okay. Uh, then I'd like to also uh, just watch the entire um, uh, feed of that from the time of our arrival up towards the murder to see if anybody enters or if it was somebody who was like, already on the ship. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Obviously, uh, Pleasant never leaves the ship. So he was on there the whole time. Uh, same with erstwhile erstwhile uh, stayed in the on the ship and you're you don't see any evidence that they left um a lot of people came in and out um including multiple of the people that you had rescued uh had left and come back on 
Uh, I'd say that uh, there are three people that you rescued that were on the ship at the time of the murder. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um... Um, and then, yeah, then Pleasant, Erstwhile, Diego were on the ship. And um, and multiple crew members uh, were on the ship at the time of the murder. Uh, uh, crew members of like the the Navy. Have we asked Diego if he killed this person? I just want to know. You have not. We should probably add that to the list. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's not gonna lie to us, but we haven't asked, so. Um. Maybe he could lie the whole time, and this is just his cover. Oh my god. Oh man, the coffee is definitely starting to wear off. Uh, help me out here, guys. What what sorts of things should we be looking for? Um, I do like following all of the even the people that uh, that we rescued that weren't on the ship. I do like the idea of tracking them the whole time too, to just see where they went, what they did. Because if we can clear people off the list of suspects, that narrows the list of suspects down. Would there be? I mean, not in the room. Screaming as I go past the room. Uh, just <laughs> no, like... add a character help me. My brain, I've got yeah, no, uh, one and a half brain cell left. Maybe this is kind of maybe a dead end because obviously there may be a shift and ship shifter. But with eyes on our ship, maybe anybody entering our ship from non just going through the front door. Uh, no. No? With you have full coverage of the ship, anyone who was on board got in through the docking ramp, unless they were just straight up invisible. How many okay, people my... entered our ship? Sorry, a lot. From what he said, um, from so from what you can tell, people that were on the ship, I would say you have the the three people you rescued: uh, Earthwhile, Diego, Pleasant. And I'll say 10 uh, Navy crew. And that's not such a big number. We just have to go around and kill them all and then be fine. Do these security uh, cameras also have any sort of um, non-visual light spectrum, like any, any sort of bio thermal. scans, thermal? Oh, like yeah. That? They would, yeah. Um, everyone looks to be uh, human. Hmm. Looks to be, unless they have something that fools the cameras. Okay, well. The other thing I will say is that of everyone on board, uh, the, the killer was wearing a particular, like, armor, and you don't see anyone wearing that armor. Maybe this guy shapeshifted into, or maybe he went invisible. That is that or maybe they're still, on, wait, what if they're still on the is ship? Is there, like, an invisibility thing that you know of? Um, I mean, I know I can do the suppressed cognition where I can I make, just, you know, thought. someone that I've seen or, you know, am interacting with, make them forget about it. I'm wondering if they have the, like, unseen by sensors thing that you have, but you also said that doesn't work for, like, a direct camera feed. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. I just had a thought. Maybe they were already on our ship before we landed here. They were waiting for people to come onto our ship and use that as a way to get away. Maybe maybe they've been in our vents relation system for a while. Since you know? New Soul. I mean Since New but... Soul. The, well, this, this I mean, ship you didn't this is a new have ship. A new soul. Yeah. This is a you new ship. ship but the there's a potential there's a potential that they might have been on our vents. Just hiding out. I mean, it's possible this guy's a serial killer is a really a bit bit weird in the head he might be living in our ventilation systems. Yeah. And it's not like like, like we, we check those. Yeah, well, but we well I guess no we didn't. I was gonna say since we got the um when everything went to shit with the flesh eating ship eating stuff, but that was before Yeah, that was the last ship. Ooh. Which well obviously we checked everything for that ship, but that ship's gone now. So but may nobody have... left since then? Nobody. There was no extra people that left, right? No. Yeah. The numbers add up. Okay. So right, we can we have... do a... and there were and there were three. We we have three of the people we rescued were on the ship at the time of the murder. How many other people were on the ship at the time of the murder? 
So outside of crew, ten. Okay. Let me get and they would names. have largely been in the cargo bays, so they would have been close to where the spike drive was. Are we able to get names slash uh, yeah, you have IDs of these people? You have names for all of them. I doubt I'm, any of them did it, honestly. Well, so what I will say is I didn't bother to name all of them, but if I named the killer, I wouldn't give you their name in specific because that would make them look very guilty. And, and there's one guy <laughs> named Frank. Yeah. <laughs> um. Are there any, does this, this is a, a warship. I don't know how extensive the records are, but do they have any, are there like digital passports, that sort of thing, where like we could tell if any of these people were in New Seoul at a time? Maybe we can say how long they oh. served for on this, in this ship. Yeah. Interesting. Um, so, okay. Got it. So with the crew, with the Navy, you'd be able to tell. Um, so yeah, I think with that, um, so you've already used your query thing. Do you want to roll a program to get the answer or, or do you I'll have just, more query? I, I could do it two more times. Um, okay. I think it's worth it cause it's also really fast. Yeah. It's just, a, it's just an action to get an answer. So, yeah. Uh, so let me do that. I'll spend another processor. All right. Uh, you can definitively prove it's none of the Navy. Okay. Everyone else, you don't have enough access. You don't have enough of their stuff. So what does that limit it down to? Our crew and the, the three, uh, three people you rescued. Okay. Yeah. And none of them are of high value uh, bounties. Um, okay. Yeah. Now uh, I'm trying to imagine just the scenario of like, the killer was in the like angelic realm and probably wanted to try and kill someone, but had freaking archangel. They're like, I'm protecting you all. <laughs> been an interesting uh, dilemma. Or it was erstwhile. I'm not ruling that one out. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's certainly uh, a possibility. <laughs> is there anything else that we want to grab while we're here? So you'll have a you have time to do an action you know to do more stuff but uh as kind of around now uh neath um you get a uh you get a call from pleasant oh you're hello muted. hi uh my guards have been killed and someone is trying to access my systems there's just this a pause, and then I'm on my way. And then <laughs> Neith, like, looks at the others. Someone's trying to hurt my boy. We need to go now. All right. Are you yeah. muted? Wrap it up, then. All right. So if you wanted, you could do another query to get an immediate answer. Uh, but if uh, not... Um... Current location of the of of everyone on our on our suspect list, including Erstwell and and um, uh, Diego, everybody. The I guess okay. what would we have like five people on our list right now? Yeah, discounting yeah. ourselves. So, um, Erstwell and Diego, uh, no evidence of them having left the ship. Um, give me a give me a notice real quick. Cool. Um, I'm really glad I put all those points into that this level. And skills are what? 2d6? Yep. Okay. 13, ladies. Ten. All right. Um... So, yeah, um, you you do see um, one of uh, the one of the people you rescued uh, leave your ship shortly before this happened. 
when you say this, do you mean the the murder or this of like like recently okay. you're able to track uh and basically yeah if you pick them up on there you have the query so you used it so you'd be able to basically backtrack someone going from pleasant cell from from there to from your ship and it is one of the three people uh it is uh, um kind of a middle-aged man Right, well, I think we've got the bloke. It's that one pulls up a screen. Right, Cap, let's go. And right. yeah, shortly before going into the room, you would notice uh, their figure distort and they turn into uh, what Neath looked like on, on the planet. Uh, does it look like a, like you said, distort? Does it look like something digital or gloopy fleshy? Um,. You rolled a really good notice. Digital. Digital. Great. Okay. Tech. Cool. Uh, let's go rescue a soulless tin can. I mean, your son. My boy! <laughs> uh, right, I yeah. bust out of the room as quickly as possible. Okay. Um, yeah. So you're you're headed that way. Um, there's not going to be any, I guess he killed the security. So yeah, you can get in pretty easily. Um, well, you can get to the area pretty easily. The, the door that you need to get into to get to like where Pleasant Cell is, is locked. I have is a query. Am I, am, are you guys done in the security room? Yeah, we would have, oh. like, uh, as we left, like, sent you a message of, like, uh, Pleasant's under attack. We need to, we're heading that way. And you may even want to, like, get the guards and be, like, <laughs> you know, the ones who are chasing, like, someone is like, killed your guards and is attacking a prisoner. Uh, do I have a button to stop my leg from malfunctioning? <laughs> or is that, or is that I love, I, oh, no, yeah. I love that we forgot that step. <laughs> I mean, I, I rolled pretty high. Yeah. If Neath wanted there to be a button for you to stop it, Neath could have easily made a button. I guess. <laughs> and then uh, I feel like, if anything, I should have the button. I feel like it'd be funnier if it was Neath. And also, yeah, it would, it would less... be, but I also, I think Nuskara would be like, okay, no, give me the button. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, here you go. It's probably on your, like, thing. I'd yeah, just, on like, my leg. Put, put a switch on there. Yeah, it might become useful in, hand, in future, who knows. And I think yeah. with the 16, it will be, it can be easily disguised so that it's, I think, it does, it's not obvious that Scar. I think as, like, security, like, like, maybe, like, grab me, and, like, push me down to the ground and, like, get multiple hands on me, like, like I like try and like reach down sneakily and like just turn it off what? and like oh thank god he must have run out of fuel. Give me uh, a sneak. That's dex. Yeah. I mean, if you fail this, they'll take you to the holding Thanks. cell, which is where we need you to be anyway. <laughs> All right, you're good. Um. Oh boy. But feigning dizziness, uh, like, sorry, I just got a message. Uh, sorry about this. I don't know what happened. Uh, this doesn't happen ever. Um, you guys are security, right? Uh, one of the guys with like a shirt that says like you know military security on it or something like that says yes. Sorry, words. Yeah, yeah, but okay. Uh, I think one of your prisoners is getting attacked. Why would you know that? Because my friends just messaged me because my friend is in holding cell right now. And they, you know, think that... I don't know. I don't know why. I just got a message, okay? It rolled me a talk check. Let's see how... I think this is a slightly unbelievable thing that you would just know. Okay, yeah. They're I think, taking, I think they're, they may think I'm delirious. <laughs> Yeah, they'll take you to holding because this whole situation is really suspicious. Mm, well, uh, so yeah, know, they're, they're marching you that way. Yeah, I don't mind if I probably like, you know, feign like, oh, I can't stand up. I've just been like flying around for the last five minutes, hitting mm. walls and shit. So if they need to carry me, I'm like, that's fine. They've got you. Yeah, they've got a couple of guys under your arms. 
Yeah, how big strong men are carrying me? Let's go. How how tall is Scara? Uh, five foot nine. Oh yeah, perfect. I love that. <laughs> it's like feet are fully off the ground. Yeah. Mm. All Maybe right. five foot ten if like he boosts his legs a bit. <laughs> See, um, does he have extendo legs when he yeah. wants to seem a little taller. He has extended right. legs if he like needs to like use his leg as a hidden compartment for smuggling stuff. So uh, the the three of you are going to get mm -hmm. there first. The door to the holding cells is locked. Um, is yeah, it mechanical uh, or mechanical and and you know there's a digital pad there as well you could use. So fix or program or sneak. Okay. Well, I was going to suggest that um, Mozart just breaks it down, but... Oh, I'm not, you can do I'm that not, too. I'm not in big boy form. Fair. If so. I was, I could literally melt the door. I have a thing for that. All right. Uh, 12 is easily good enough. Uh, the door opens and I want everyone to make uh, evasion saves, please. Oh, boy. Uh, oh yeah when you say everyone i assume it's Zeke, so not you you're not there <laughs> <laughs> so you all pass so you'll all take half of this oh boy okay so half a tin um oh, as uh a bomb explodes as the door opens All right. Well, uh, there are definitely me. alarms going off now. Uh -huh. And luckily, this was not at an exterior of the ship. So there isn't, uh, there isn't a hole breach. Mm -hmm. All right. Going in the room. Yep. All right. Um, yeah. So you you get into the room there are uh there are a couple of dead guards and um you kind of are moving towards where pleasant's cell setup is so it's kind of like uh they've kind of moved him to um more of like an interrogation room since they're since they have like devices on them and stuff and they're trying to read his stuff. So there's like the two way mirror stuff going on. Uh, so there's like a room outside of it. And uh, yeah. Uh, so you start heading that way. And um... <laughs> I need to roll. Uh, oh, actually, I don't have to do this because I have the character sheet. I forgot. All right. Skill. Submit. Yes. Okay. Not a fail. I like how his name is just Killer. Mm -hmm. Very good, hiding his name from us. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so yeah, you get to the room, and the two kind of engineers that were working on uh, going through Pleasant's program are dead. Um, and there is uh, there's. The uh, the killer seems to be gone. Where's my boy? Still in the cell. Yeah. Uh, I think Neith does full mom thing and goes up to him and is just like, what would they do? What are you know? Like, are you hurt? Are you alive? What's going on? I seem to be fine. Uh, the individual who killed the the men outside started accessing. Uh, my program through the interface. What did they take? 
What did they mess Nothing. with? I believe they were trying to overwrite my uh, my loyalty commands. Stand up. He stands up. Sit down. He sits down. My boy! <laughs> <Talk to him. laughs> it's okay. You're gonna be okay. Roy, I, I hate to break up this touching scene, but uh, Pleasant, is he still in here? No, he left shortly before you got here. Well, I say shortly. He left directly after the explosion. Which way? And he'll just kind of point. Uh, and it's like, there's there's basically one way he could have gone. Um, yeah, it's kind of like down the hall from, from where you guys came in. Uh, Teddy is going to start sprinting that way, uh, using <laughs> my mad hops to <laughs> get around faster. Okay, yeah. I forget about that. Uh, I'm going to um, access, while they're chasing after, I'm just going to do a quick check to make sure nothing's changed from what I can tell, like on a quick sweep. Okay. Just in case he did change the protocol. Okay. Give me a uh, program check. 16, baby. I feel like that, right. that mom adrenaline is just going through her right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just straight up picking up trucks. Yeah. All right. Uh, you are able to find a uh, an added subroutine. Murder everyone in their sleep. What is it? Um, it would take a little time to decode, but you're able to isolate it uh, for now. Can I remove it, or can I like cut it off from uh, the code? Like, yeah, I think so. with the sixteen, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'd say I'll, it's you're I'll, able like, to remove you're able to copy it into yeah. like your stuff and delete it from Pleasant's code. Okay. She like as they're running off and she's done this before she goes back to them, uh she's going to say um she's going to like stroke his like face exterior and just be like you're all right now. I'm here to help you, but I need you to get to somewhere safe. Can you find more of the guards and uh, inform them as to what happened here. I'll inform them when they get here. I'm Don't unable worry. to leave. Oh, right. Okay. If anything else happens, keep me in the loop, okay? Absolutely. Okay. She touches the her mask and touches his face <laughs> and then goes off at the others. Probably All running right. into Scar as he's going in the door. Like, what happened? This way. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so yeah, we'll have to figure that out for now. I mean, do uh, I see anybody running past me? Like any figure running past me? We'll get to that in a minute here. Because yeah, you're showing up late. You're kind of like... It's okay. So you would have stopped around then. You're probably not too far behind them because you would have been in the area when they left. So yeah, you'll probably be getting here around now. Um... So, um, Teddy and Mozart, you guys are in chase of the, uh, of the killer. Um, uh, Teddy, you got your, you got your, uh, your natural mad hop stuff. Um, so yeah, I think, I think you being the bunny, uh, your, your natural ability as a bunny man, I, it's got to make you more able to quickly navigate like sharp turns of these hallways and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, literally just like if I'm taking a turn too sharply, just like hopping up to spring off the wall and continue on. Yeah. Um, so I think with that, um, go ahead and roll me. Um, let's see. Some kind of physical uh, oh. check. But it's going to be a pretty low DC. Yeah. Um, dang. So earlier in leveling up, I had bumped my exert up to one, but then I've dropped it down to bring uh, two skills up to zero. But I can I can do an exert. Um, that seems like probably the... Yeah, let's do an one. exert. Okay. It's more than a six. Um, yeah, so 
so yeah, with everyone having the same speeds mm-hmm. in the game, I think uh, you are able to kind of start catching up to this guy, and you have line of sight on him. I am going to do a telepathic contact. Um, so spend the point, and then let's see. Uh, I'm going to try the reflex response where I can commit effort for the day to force a sudden irrational impulse into the target. Uh, They make a mental saving throw to resist, but on a failure, they'll use their next available action. And basically, I'm going to, like, command spell in D&D, just, like, drop to the floor, try and get them to do that. Okay, so they need to roll a save. Oh, they (laughs) just passed. Um, Okay, so then... um... Do I still have the telepathic contact, though? Okay, so yeah, I think with this one, the telepathic contact is still there. So, like, if this were in combat and initiative, I would have to wait for my next turn to try again. Um, okay. Um, but, so you still have telepathic contact, so what it, that gives you emotions, surface thoughts? Yes. Yeah, I get up to... Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, yeah, I get emotions. Um, yeah, emotions for free. It would need to be another mental saving throw for me to get surface thoughts. Okay, gotcha. So emotions, um, anger, and panic, and I would say pure bloodlust. All right. Um, I guess before trying to, again, like, uh, telepath him down, just shouting back to Mozart of a, I think this guy might give you a run for your money in bloodthirstiness. The whole while Mozart has been struggling to keep up, tripping over things, crashing into walls, whole while cursing his weak little body. Uh, And he he thinks back to, he's like, uh... Um, and can I uh, we had like a laser gun stowed away in my face before I know this is kind of retroactive but could I have also stowed away because I know we have our armory some like stun baton type of thing sure you guys you, you knew what you were doing so I think that's a good weapon for you to have taken for what you were trying to do, if you needed to like stun a guard so you could hack the stuff, I think that's good. Okay, so while he's running, I think his ear like slides out, and you can see some like glow coming out of his head, and he like pulls it out, pops the ear off. There's a stun baton. He puts the fucking ear back on and goes charging down the hallway after <laughs> the guy. All right, and um, yeah, uh, so that's happening. Um, Neath, you take off running out of Pleasant Cell uh, right as Skara is being like taken into the room. And they would have heard the explosion as well. So Skara, you heard this explosion and then your guard, the guards who are escorting you just like start running with you. Um, like and, drags through. <laughs> yeah. Um, they You get there pretty quick and yeah, you see as Neith is like running down the hall towards something. And you see, you're in this room, there's like two dead guards right here. I say, you know that thing that I said about the place and stuff? I think that happened. Did I just believe me? Uh, Uh, Give me another talk check, please. I mean, I was flying around. I couldn't have done this. (laughs) Yeah, but you could be in on it. They still need to believe you. Nine. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, Look, I get it. It's hard to there. believe. Somebody was murdered on my ship. They're probably on this ship right now. Probably murdered these two people. And if my deducing is correct, probably that way. Pointing in the direction right. that Neath is running. There- <laughs> 
they start kind of taking off down that way. And one of the guys, uh, the two guys that were carrying you, they kind of put you down. And one of them goes, we're going to remember you. we got questions for you after this. Hey, I am literally unforgettable. I'm wearing a red jacket and I've got bright red hair. Look, <laughs> and... you can remember my face all you like, but I'm going with you. Okay. He's like, yeah, it's fine. Come on. And they just are taking off running. I run after them. Okay. I'm not using my uh... jetpack boots because that would go against my story. <laughs> Yes, yeah. Um, let's get just to see how it plays out for now. Everyone else is kind of a little bit behind. Let's get an initiative for uh, Mozart, Teddy, and the killer. Uh, I'm going to be rolling mine twice because I took the alert. Okay. Uh, okay which lets me do that. Okay. Oh, Teddy Oscar. Tied with the killer. Okay. Got eight as the better of mine. Okay. So cool. Um, yeah. So you'll go first. I think what we'll do is we'll have the, since Teddy did a thing, I'm going to have the killer react to Teddy doing that, and then you're going to show up. Um, so the killer's still a bit away from you, Teddy. So as you're as you kind of do that, and there's kind of that panic and and anger, um, he goes towards a, um, a a a holster and pulls a laser pistol, and is going to kind of fire it back at you as he tries to continue running away. You can certainly try. My AC is ridiculous. <laughs> Mm. That, Ooh, that, that's a ridiculous attack so <laughs> <laughs> yeah that beats my AC of 21 alright and yeah it does 10 damage with the laser pistol I'm just double checking like the, the force field shields don't reduce any kind of damage uh, type I don't think no, so no I don't believe so I think okay. they just up here I see by a crazy amount Yep. They count as power armor, so like primitive weapons don't do any damage to you. Gotcha. But this is not a primitive weapon. I'm still fine. I got plenty of heaps. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, it does that and kind of runs a little bit down the hallway some more. And Mozart, you're going to come in and you've you've just entered the area. Uh, so it's your, you got to turn. So you got to you can see the killer at the end of this hallway. You can move. Uh, you can action. Right. So I think um, uh, whenever Teddy told me about the bloodlust thing, uh, Mozart started blaring uh, the the doom music. <laughs> uh, so the doom music is just filling the hallway and I would love to like get up on him and give him a good whacking with the stun baton right at the moment where that fucking beat hits. OK. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll allow. So uh, yeah, roll. Also, hang on a second, because I've got uh, Samuel Jason to you at the end of your tomb. We have nine attacks over the shock damage of your weapon. Okay, no, that's fine. I'm still going to whack him. Whack him. Stun baton. Go. Uh, That is a miss. Hope. Uh, and... How about the, this is the shock damage? No, it doesn't, doesn't. His AC is better than a 15. Uh, give me a real quick notice check. Okay. Okay. Um, the stun baton, uh, the guy looks kind of like he's wearing uh, armor. It does still look like Neath as a person, as a human back on the planet, uh, but looks like it's wearing, uh, you know, this armor. Uh, that looks a little unique, but looks like, you know, some pretty standard combat armor. Um, and so you kind of go for like a head shot where they are unarmored and uh, it is deflected by a force pass. All right. Um, so not being in his big omen form, he can't do any of the cool combat maneuvers. So that's it for him. But I do want to do like uh, a little comical, like 
he did like a jumping strike and just kind of bounces off and goes flying back <laughs> and he goes Run, fuck the shields <laughs> Uh, I think a uh, kind of a chuckle escapes uh, the killer, and it is very clearly uh, like a man's voice. All right, uh, Teddy, you want another shot at at psychicking this guy? Yeah, just again going to try and uh, make him. Uh... I'm trying to think. It, we can take a few more hits if he's still holding on to the weapon. So I think it is the focus is still to get him to stop running so that the other people can catch up. Um, so another reflex response. So a mental save, please. Okay. Oh, whoops. All right, I almost rolled the wrong thing. Cancel. Save. There we go. Oh, ah. fail. So he stops running. He cannot run. Yeah. Uh, does is, He specifically has to use up his action not running. Isn't that right? Yeah. Um, the target, uh, they will if they fail, um, they will use their next available action to carry out the impulse to the best of their ability. So I guess, you know, it's using the action, so can't shoot with it. <laughs> so to carry out the action... So basically, as long as he does anything other than running, it works. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, at, at the very least, have him stopped. And so presumably uh, Mozart and Teddy can like position ourselves to intercept him if he tries to move past us. Yeah, I think what he'll do is he'll probably... Uh, you see him reach uh, behind kind of his head and from like nowhere pulls a sword. Okay, so he's got some kind of... Oh hologram. my god, Diego! <laughs> and uh, is going to try and stab Mozart. Ooh, probably misses. Probably, yeah, but this is the... AC is a 20. Even in this form? If he's got the Force Pavis. Oh, yeah. Um, but we'll figure it out. Either way, it's not going to be an insane amount of damage. Uh, but I would like a notice check, please. From me as well? Uh, yes, please. Okay. Uh, Mozart, that 14 stabbed, was against Mozart. you. Does yeah, fourteen hit you in this form? I believe so. Let me look real quick. Do, 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 do. And I got an eleven on my notice. Oh yeah, it doesn't have any sort of special armor on it, so that'll definitely smack me. Okay, so ten damage as you get stabbed by uh, this sword that's kind of like vibrating and like uh, like with heat almost. It's like super hot. Um. Yeah, so Teddy, you've seen uh, you've seen people use this kind of sword before. Uh, it's pretty standard issue for um, for pathfinders. So, like, what Diego is. Okay, um... we never asked Diego if he did it. Um, yeah, I'm just thinking in terms of initiative, like, can I ask a question right now? Or when would I need to wait to do that? Sure, you could ask it. Yeah, it's fine. Um, just gonna ask, are you Diego? Are you our Diego? <laughs> Clarifying that, because I know that all the, all those Pathfinders call themselves Diego. Mm. I mean, they might be, uh, of the same planet, but of a different pilgrimage, maybe one of Moda. Possibly, but well, right now, just trying to clarify: Is this our Diego? I mean, the person Diego already got questioned. No. Yeah, Diego did get questioned, and would mm -hmm. you weren't there for it, but presumably said that they didn't kill whoever it was. 
I mean, presumably, if they did, then they'd be in prison. <laughs> this person also uh, has one hand holding a gun and one hand holding a sword. Mm-hmm. So, but okay. yeah, I think at around this, uh, Neath is going to show up, and then shortly after that, some guards and stuff. So, I think Let's maybe see. we'll pick it up next time here i know it's a bit of a yeah cliffhanger for a, a month and a half but uh yeah. you know otherwise i imagine it would take much longer to resolve this see you guys in yeah. november <laughs> <laughs> yeah um so yeah. yeah do we want to do stars and wishes or, or do people need to take off i think we've got time for stars and wishes um, okay yeah, I am just looking ahead. Gosh, the, uh, <laughs> the next time that we will probably be live with this game is <laughs> November 21st. Hey, yeah, yo. After my birthday. Oh. hey Happy birthday. Happy um, birthday. Prematurely. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe we'll discuss off stream, see if we're available on, you know, one of the off schedule weeks to play sooner. Oh, but... That's true. We could do that. Yeah. Hmm. If people are available, I'm fine with that. I'm also fine with that. Yeah. And so that's another reason you should make sure you're in our Discord, because that's where we'll announce that if we're doing that. Um, but yeah, let's do stars and wishes. Um, wait, I'm I good have to start. A star. <laughs> go, go for it. <laughs> okay. My star is for David for going after the one thing that Neith cares about in this world. <laughs> <laughs> uh and uh my wish is for neath to go full feral on this thing and just like start take off her mask and just start gnawing this thing with her giant scary teeth <laughs> good for one thing uh my star is to neath on how caring and again the one thing that neath cares about uh, I loved how the mother instinct kick in and then all of their roles just going like 15 plus. And it was just such in character. It was great. Uh, yeah, shout and out then... to roll 20 for me this week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then my wish for next uh, session, whenever that may be, is we get our ship prepared and we fly out to space. <laughs> Maybe have one ship combat. Who knows? So. So there's basically, uh, without spoiling, like basically guaranteed ship combat. It's been a wish for for people for a while now. So oh, it was going to be my wish again. It's been my only wish for like <laughs> yes. the, the last four <laughs> sessions. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, speaking of which, um, let's see. My star has got to go to uh, Benny Hillscara. Uh, that was just that was fun. That was great. Um, and um god no i actually have to think of a wish um i wish i get some sleep tonight <laughs> um i i wish for I, I wish for ship combat next week i don't care just put it down as number okay. five um let's All see right. I was also going to do Benny Hill Scara, so, you know, uh, <laughs> a, another half star there, but also more specifically to Mecca for being a good sport about his character being essentially the butt of that, um, even though it was like a, we all came up with the plan together. Um, but then another star is to uh, Sita and Mozart for being like, I guess I'll be in my tiny human shell for, for oh this. That's God, the smart the thing to do. would have been so useful. Ah. Yes. That was going to be my other yes. star, if not for yes. the instance. <laughs> it's all right. I kind of enjoyed sucking at physical roles. It was nice. <laughs> uh, Any uh, wish? Yes. Wish... Um, I mean, I want us all to get a hit in on this killer, like, uh, LB was saying for Neith to, you know, tear into him with her teeth. Uh, I just want to do, like, at least one sucker punch of, like, yeah, you got force fields, I got punches. <laughs> and, like, 
<laughs> my punches that somehow get around that stuff. Um, I'm afraid of killing him if I attack him. I have the thunder gun. <laughs> Yeah, I, isn't the thunder gun like massive? Can't you not really be I can using it right now? You're probably not. I would say you're probably not carrying it. It would be illegal for you to carry. They wouldn't let you carry around a thunder gun. Yeah, can't have two d10 damage. I guess I'll have my any of my other weapons, mm. which are probably smaller and more acceptable. Yeah, a more concealable weapon will be needed. Oh wow! Well. Uh, and then me. Uh, my star is just, um, <laughs> you guys, uh, you guys being suspicious of, uh, Diego and erstwhile and all of this stuff. Yeah, it's really fun. Everybody's a suspect. <laughs> We've watched Scream. I have not. I have. I've watched the funny movie Scream as well. <laughs> thought about playing Mozart as being really paranoid about Neath. Maybe, like, maybe it is Neath who did it. They have every reason to fuck over Scara for some reason. It's just, it's just a prank. It's just the upgraded next level of prank. <laughs> Go to prison. Neath took it too far, says. First of all, I took it too far this time. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I think my wish is... Uh, for the the confrontation with the killer to to go well, just wanted to I just wanted to be fun. All right, well, that is it. Yeah, that's gonna do it for us for tonight. Um, if you don't hear from us otherwise, we'll see you in late November. Um, but maybe we'll be back sooner than that to uh conclude this. Um. Yeah, uh, people got things I would like to plug or promote before we go. We'll see you in the stars. <laughs> yeah. Until next time, good games and good night, internet.